Hi everybody, welcome back to the Quarter Acre Homestead. Today we're going to be opening our automatic chicken coop door. We ordered it from Ador Store online. Um, it's made in Texas. It's called the Ador Automatic Chicken Coop Door 1, I think it is. We got the one that's only 9 inches tall by 11 inches wide. And so this video, in this video we're going to open it up and install it. And then maybe in a future video we'll do a review after we see how it works for a little bit. So it comes with this six volt lantern super heavy duty battery and they say it lasts about a year opening and closing the door and then we might switch it out to a rechargeable and put up a solar panel we'll see so That's it. This is supposed to come off. Yeah, it will. So, let's see. Questions, help, accessories, parts, repair, warranty, troubleshooting. Call or text, and they have their phone number. I already texted them once, and they wrote back within a day. Um, you can also order this right on Amazon. So I'll put a link in the description. So they have a bunch of instructions. Whether you purchase directly online through eBay or Amazon, please direct any concerns straight to us. Okay, so then they have a bunch of instructions, but I think, I think it's as simple as just installing it. Um, let's see, maybe we should have it open later. Okay, so we're going to try to do a little bit of programming on this door before we install it. I think I'm going to leave everything default. Except um, I wanted to open about two hours after sunrise because we have a rooster which I want to be shut indoors so the crowing hopefully is a little quieter and doesn't disturb the neighbors. So I'm going to set setting a custom program number 11 to 4 to try to open now two hours later than normal. So we're going to open this up. So when you open this, you have to pull it out a little bit so that the button doesn't catch. So there's a little button there. And it goes in here. And if you don't pull it out, it can get caught there and rip it off and break it. Okay, so now give me the battery. So you can see it has one little computer program chip and the motor, a sprocket here that goes in these slots in the door. Okay, so I'll take this plastic cover off. It said black goes in the middle. Oh, you know what? It's going to try to open and it's zip tied shut, so we better cut that right here. Black goes on here and it's probably going to try to open. That was it saying hi. Who's Okay, so it's open. Mom, it just opened. No. So if you want to shut it, you just push this. How do you open it? Do you press that? Yeah, but normally it'll be that green button. I know. 
Okay, okay, no more. Automatically open and close. Yeah, when it gets light in the morning and when it gets dark at night. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna try to do the programming to make it open two hours late. So it's a little complicated. So let's see. Um, steps for program mode: left hand disconnect battery wire. Hold alligator clip ready to reconnect. Press in the push button switch and hold it. Reconnect the battery. Release the switch. Ador is now in program mode. Hmm. Okay, when, it, when the light came on just now, I was supposed to do one, two, three, four, because four clicks is two hour delay. Okay, so I messed up. So take, okay, so to set the two hour delay, disconnect the black, hold the button in, reconnect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Wait until the light comes on. One, two, three, four, wait. Okay, I think I got it set. So, so now I think let's go try to screw it on. So let's, yeah, let's go put it on the coop. But first, well, let's put this cover back on. So I'm leaving everything default except 11, which delays opening by two hours. Or it can delay different amounts, but I selected two hours. So I have three holes on top I can screw in. I have three holes on the bottom. To get to these holes, you have to move this bracket. So be aware of that. All right, Dad. let's go. So there's the door we're installing on. Looks like we're going to have to adjust that ladder because it goes too high. And then we might just be able to put it over that white trim because I don't really want to go inside and take that off. All right, so I need to go get the drill. Let's see how this will work. So this isn't going to be super easy. It's not? No, because our, our door has that trim on it, I think. Actually, no, I can just screw it onto the trim. Oh, cool. It's, well, yeah, I have to move that ladder. Might just put some really long screws so they reach the plywood. And then I can screw this into the 2 by And that way I don't have to take the trim off. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. as possible so I need to move it up just a little bit.
Okay, got it installed. So some of you may be wondering why we switched to this automatic door when we already had a chicken powered door. And the reason is because now we have a rooster and we don't want the chickens hopping off opening the door at 530, having him come out and crow and wake up all the neighbors. He'll probably still crow at 530, but hopefully being inside the coop it makes it a little bit softer. We might also try a, a crowing collar on him, so we'll see. But that's why we got this door. So I have it set to delay two hours in the morning before it opens. So instead of 5.30, maybe 7.30. And then it should close in the evening. Um, super simple to install. So maybe in a few days we will do a, a review or a follow-up video on how it's working. Um, again, I'll put a link in the description if you want to get one of these. Uh, this was around $245, I think. And that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.